So this is like the third part of the video we've been going into. It's been a very lengthy video and I will try not to bore you. So if you're here, it means you've gone through the first two parts and they've been important to you. Before you go further in, please take a minute to hit the like button, subscribe if you like this kind of content and leave your questions in the comments so that I can get back to you on whatever you find useful, okay? So before that, we'll hit the commercial, you get to see the final results and we'll get to move on from there. Enjoy sports made for you. Recipes made for you. Entertainment made for you. Learning made for you. Enjoy YouTube made for you. Get amazing video data bundle offers on your mobile phone by simply dialing star 312 hash today. YouTube made for you. Now that you've seen the final results, so I'll just go over the breakdown of the video, which will be, I will not be doing light breakdowns, I will talk vaguely over them. If you really want to know about them, you could like leave your comments in the section below and if there's enough comments, we'll take out the resources to be able to like do more light breakdown videos for you on this commercial. So first things first, we open up with the graphics, which was a very cool way of actually coming paying homage to the YouTube. These first two shots are actually interesting because we shot them at the end of the day when our gas tanks were already out. We had a very, very long day. When I mean a long day, to put it lightly, it would be, yeah, we, we crossed probably close to 18 hours because our call up time was like 6 a.m. Wrap up time was like, for the life of me, 6 a.m. So we had like a 12 hour days in a weird way. No, actually 18 hour day because 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. is 12 hours. So you get another six hours, that's like 18 hours. So we had a very long day, an 18 hour day. And this was probably at the 16 to 17 hour when we're like almost out, you get. And all of this you're saying we're shot at night. None of it was at day in this shot sequence. Including this sequence, this sequence was set up like on a dolly and it was just like um, some high powered light being able to bring in the day ambience to sell the effect of day and some other stuff you get and we had like a dolly for the overhead shot and we had to do a couple of redressing to be able to like make it work having to vary it and be able to sell um, um, the space as different was actually paramount because even for this other previous shot if you go back to this shot for the guy's shot um, for the guy's shot we had we had a client on the call and based on it was a football scene we had the initial idea of doing posters and several things but the image rights we had to like redress and get creative till we were able to come up with something that we had clearance for you get and these are some of the things that would happen on the day though and um if you watch from the guy shot it's the same kitchen we used another angle but lit it differently you get so it now felt like kind of created some unism you get but also it was different enough because they had different dishes and different stuff that they were doing with the uh, kitchen bits you get this shot the girl in the blue dress this shot was like end of day this was like when we we're like 16 hours like same as the other previous shot but this one was like um the next sequence the guy shot was like the next sequence we captured when we initially started shooting it was like the second or third set no second setup for the day when we actually started you get so it's a little bit more energetic and you can see how it plays off there's a lot more energy in the room details plenty plenty stuff so we are like still becoming cinematic and um, trying wardrobe trying out options and stuff there's a lot of that fun that could actually happen for this shot the guy braiding the hair was the third setup we had for the day whereby we've already lost we are actually at 7 30 pm so most of the lights were coming from our nanlux high powered lights creating all the day ambience and directionality of light, I, would, I didn't speak about the food bit though because mm, that's like getting too technical and I don't want this video to be long because you've been patient to get to this end. We had, on the day, we had several wardrobe changes because if you look at this frame here of the girl in the blue dress, let me see if I can scroll back to it, give me a second. Um, where do we have it now? Say here, yes, here. This was not the initial take for the day. We had over four or five costume changes that happened but this was the one that made the cut we also had other cool shots that were done with dolly but because of the fast pace it didn't make the cut but some of the cool shots did make the cut you get but 
these are like some of the logistics that would happen on an 18 hour long day commercial you get initially if it was scheduled for three days as we initially planned what would have happened with that shoot the girl separately for 12 hours shoot the guy for another 12 hours you get that's what would have happened but collapsing there means that you had to like we had to like find creative ways to be light on our feet think on our feet and it's really helpful using the doll in some of his conversations because um, we are at the 99 hour moving a tripod up and down or getting the height or trying to like get more creative it just becomes way more um, difficult and there's like more prone to uh, prone accidents that could could happen so we're grateful that we we're able to afford that on the project and um, it actually really helped in the execution and in the speed of how we'd move because moving the entire camera package just meant very creativity was like at the fingertips of looking for perspective like okay, take the camera put it here because me functioning on the day as a director and also a cinematographer meant that there were like two hats on my head so my operator was like always on the dolly and he's like the one always doing the operation so i just get there discuss with my gaffer put in the light plans give the directions of what i think should go then i can step back and go to like my monitor village or sometimes build the action or uh, mostly because this is a commercial I'm usually with the client to also like hear their feedbacks, hear their concerns, also like get them to sign off on each and every shot you get. So function as a director and cinematographer means that you have to be able to delegate. You get this time, my operator like mans the operation of the camera, which means he stays with the dolly and my grip team. My light guy um, takes all my instructions and put them together as swiftly as possible. And we all work as one oiled machine to make all of this work seamlessly. And together, all our labor of loves created this result. And in the end, the client was happy, which is the internal goal. The internal goal for you is not to get the coolest shot. The internal goal is to make your client happy. Make them satisfied with the deliverables that you've delivered within the budget and the means you've been created. Hopefully, if they like you enough, you get call back. And try not to over linger so you don't oversteal your usefulness, you get. When you've done your job, hope for all the best and move on to the next, you get. Some things are gonna align, some things are not gonna align. Some experiences are going to be great, some experiences are going to suck. But like this is all the entirety of all the process that we went through for this job. If there's other parts of the process you would like us to do an in-depth video on, please leave in the comments below. Let us know your thoughts. If you have questions, get back to us in the comments. Let's make this an engaging conversation. I hope this has been useful to you in tremendous ways. Until the next time that I see you, improvise, adapt, and overcome. Thank you.